some other concerns that, that you all have when you come in for treatment have to do with whether or not you want to be in group therapy or individual therapy. I understand that you've been carrying around a trauma experience that you may or most likely have not shared with anybody else. And the thought of disclosing this or even talking about the effects of the trauma on you, irritability or um, not wanting to be out with friends, you may not want to talk to a whole bunch of other people about that. But I will tell you what I've learned over the years is that individual therapy is good for certain things, but there is no replacement for being in a room with other people who have had the experiences that you've been having because they are a mirror for you and you are a mirror for them. There's nobody who's gonna keep you more honest and nobody who you're going to feel is as honest as folks who are having the same experience with you. And then the other thing I think that is so important about group therapy is that because part of the symptoms of PTSD is sort of feeling different and disconnected from other people, group therapy is oftentimes an opportunity to recognize that you're not different that you've had a, a shared experience. It's not shared by the population at large, but it is shared by people who you respect and admire, who are having the same experiences that you are. You guys are all in it together, and that you guys can all move through it together as well.